Welcome to lesson 65, our part one. It's also the beginning of our last trimester, trimester three. So on the front of your new notes, you need to put your name and your number. Make sure to put your name in cursive. And then on our first page here, you need to also put your name. First and last in cursive. All right, so we're on lesson 65, first lesson of these notes. Word problems involving distance, we're turning to pages three and four. So here we have our content objective for fourth grade MD measurement data A2. I can use the four operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division to solve word problems involving measurement, including simple fractions and decimals. Language objective, I can identify important numbers and keywords to solve problems involving distance. Social objective, I can work with others to create models which prove the solution to the distance word problems. All right, so first we're gonna do some practice with converting units. So here we have one foot plus two feet equals how many yards? Well first, because these are similar units, I can just add them together. So one foot plus two feet equal three feet. And I know that one yard is equal to three feet. So that means that one foot plus two feet equals one yard. Because if this is three feet and one yard is equal to three feet, this equals one yard. Here, one yard, take away one foot is how many feet? Well, one yard, we can't do the subtraction if they're in different units. So one yard is equal to three feet. If you don't remember this, you can look back in your trimester two notes to look for the conversions. Three feet, take away one foot, equals two feet. So that means one yard, take away one feet, is two feet. One foot, take away eight inches, is how many inches? Well, they're not in the same unit, so we have to change. One foot is equal to 12 inches. So now that I have converted it into the same units, I can now subtract. 12 inches take away 8 inches is 4 inches. So we have to have them the same units. I can't do 1 foot take away 8 inches. I have to change it to inches. I had to change this to feet. So we're going to be using some conversion having to do with distance in these problems. All right, so we're going to be using our cubes circle our numbers, underline our question, box keywords, eliminate unnecessary information, and solve. That's our way of annotating our word problems. The length of a room is 8 feet 9 inches. The width is 78 inches. Our question is, how much longer is the length in inches? So when we want to know how much longer, that is a comparison. We're going to compare to see which one's longer, and to do that, we need 
to find because we want to know the exact di difference. We're going when we compare, we find our difference. And we then subtract. So we need to find our difference. And we need to find it in inches. So the operation we are going to ultimately do is subtract. But there's a step we have to do first. So this is a multi-step problem. Because one of our units is in feet. So we have to change this all to inches. Then we can subtract. So first we have to change the 8 feet into inches. Okay, so 8 feet. And they've given you, if you forget, 1 foot equals 12 inches. So 8 feet to make that into inches, I would multiply times 12. 8 times 12, if you don't know 8 times 12, you can look on your multiplication chart. But 10 groups of 8 is 80, 2 groups of 8 is 16. 80 plus 16 is 96. So to find our total length now, we know it's 96 inches instead of 8 feet. But we already had some inches, so we have to add that on. So 96 plus 9 more is 105 inches. So now that we know our length in inches, now we can subtract. So there was a step we had to do first. So 105 and our width is 78. Okay, we have more on the floor. Go next door, regroup 10 more, but there's nothing there. I do have 10 tens in a hundred though, so I could take away one ten from here and give it here. And then I'm left with nine tens. 15 take away 8 is 7. 9 take away 7 is 2. So the length is 27 inches longer. Okay, our next problem. The red ribbon is 92 centimeters long. The blue ribbon is half. Now that's a number in words, but it's still a number, so we circle. Half as long as the red ribbon. How long is the blue ribbon in millimeters? So we want to know the length, and then we need to convert it to millimeters. So half means we're going to divide by 2, and you see half. Divide by 2 or multiply by 1 half, but we haven't multiplied with fractions yet. So first to figure out our blue ribbon, to figure that out, I have to divide 92 in, by 2 in half. Let's see, I'm going to do 40 times 2, which is 80. More on top, no need to stop. More on top, no need to stop. 6 times 2 is 12. Numbers the same, 0 is the game. So I get 46. So the blue ribbon, which is half the length of the red ribbon, the red ribbon is 92, half of that is 46. So that means a blue ribbon is 46 centimeters. But the question says, how long is the blue ribbon in millimeters? So we did our first step. Now our second step, we have to convert it to millimeters. Well, one centimeter is equal to 10 
millimeters. There are 10 millimeters in every centimeter. So we're going to need to multiply by 10. When we multiply by 10, it moves everything over a place. We put our placeholder in the ones, and then 1 times 6, our 6 moves from the ones place to the tens place, our 4 moves from the tens place to the hundreds place. So that means the blue ribbon is 460 millimeters long. 46 centimeters, but it wanted the answer in millimeters, so 460 millimeters. So we have to be careful. What is it asking for? In inches, in millimeters, what do it, they want the answer in? Because if you just put 46, you would be wrong because that's not millimeters, that's centimeters. Okay, next problem. Four students run a relay race. The total, so we do know the total, distance is 100 yards. If each student runs the same distance, how many feet does each student run? So we want our answer in feet. So we know, we do know the total. It's 100 yards. And we have four students each running it. So when we know the total, we're either going to subtract or divide. Well, this says that they do the same distance. So we're going to um, break this up into equal groups. So that means we're going to divide. So 100 divided by 4, well, 4 quarters is 100 cents. Numbers the same as zeros again. So each student runs 25 yards. Did it ask for the answer in yards? It did not. It asked for our answer in feet. So we need to convert because one yard equals three feet. One yard equals three feet. So we have to convert this. So this was step one, finding out what the, the um, quotient was. Now we have to convert it to our feet. So 25 times 3. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 2 tens is 16 plus 1 more is 7. Each student runs 75 feet. Our next problem. Mariana's grandparents live three times as far away as her aunt and uncle. If her aunt and uncle live 456 miles away, how far away does her grand, do her grandparents live? So we w are looking for that total distance. Whenever we use the word times, we're going to either multiply or divide. We are looking for a total amount. We don't know the total. When we don't know the total, we either add or multiply. So since we have the word times and we are going to add or multiply, we're going to multiply to find this total amount. So the grandparents are three times the distance. So the distance is 456 and three times the distance.
Does it say anything about changing it to feet, yards, or anything else? No, so we can keep it in miles. Three groups of six is 18. Three groups of five tens is 15 tens, plus one more ten is 16 tens. Three groups of 400 is 12 hundreds, plus one more is 13 hundreds. One, two, three, comma. Now, this was just a one-step problem because we didn't have to convert it. 1,368 miles. Mariana's grandparents live 1,368 miles away. Okay, our next problem. Megan has two pet snakes named Slinky and Slither. Slinky is 48 inches long. Slither is 3 inches long. How much longer is Slinky than Slither? So we're looking for longer. That is a comparison. We're going to compare the difference. We're going to find that difference to see the, the difference in length, and whenever we do difference, that's subtraction. Slinky is the longer one. He's 48 inches. Slither is only 3 inches. And then here, what goes here is that difference between Slither's length and Slinky. What would make them the same length? That is our difference. So our difference would be 48 take away 3. 48 take away 3, we just have to count down 3, is 45. Slinky is 45 inches longer than Slither. Did it say anything about converting it to feet or anything else? No. So this was a one-step problem again. So just check and see, does it want us to have it in different units? Okay, next one. A piece of yarn is one and a half yards. So this is a problem with fractions being written this way because it could look like 11 halves. But it's one and one half. That's why it's better to write it this way so that you don't have to guess about it. Jane cut it into three inch pieces. How many pieces can she cut? So we want to look for a total amount of pieces. Sorry. We do know our total. It's one and a half. So we're either going to subtract or divide. They are going to be equal pieces, so we will be dividing. But the thing is, we know it in yards. We need to have inches. So we need to change um, this into inches. So we have one and a half yards is our total. But we need to change that into inches, otherwise we can't do our division. One yard is 36 inches. A half yard then is half of 36, which is 18 inches. Thirty six plus eighteen. Sorry, this is getting kind of small. Six plus eight is fourteen. Three, four, five. So our total is 54 inches, and we have to divide that 54 inches into three equal pieces. What goes here, 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 so it's exactly the same amount. Well, 10 times 3 is 30. More on top, no need to stop. More on top, no need to stop. And 8 times 3 is 24. Numbers the same, zeros the game. So we get 18. 
Jane can cut 18 pieces that are each 3 inches. All right, now that we've practiced doing our um, word problems involving distance, being able to convert, let's go ahead and do some more practice with our three column notes. <laughs> 